So in this video I'll be comparing the half inch Hazet set and the half inch Stawala set and basically I'm going to throw in these two cheaper brands to just show the quality difference between Baco, Facom and how they compare to these two expensive brands here. But firstly I'm going to start off with the cases. So the case on the Hazet is metal as, a, as is the uh, Stawala socket set. The logo itself is this kind of rubbery plastic and it's embossed so it's never going to come off whereas the uh, Stawala is just painted directly onto the case. This has an orange peel texture, whereas this is much more coarser. Um, both come with similar latches. The latch on the Hazard is actually better because it has an angle. So it's much more easier to flick off. As opposed to the Stola one, which is a much more flatter profile, so it's a bit harder to unlatch. The handle on the Hazard is also better as well, because it's just a simple, robust uh, metal bar that's obviously been bent into a handle. Whereas this one is a bit more complex, but it's a bit cheap just feels a bit cheap I don't have the best confidence in it it's already kind of a bit loose if you push it and actually starting to peel off a bit um, and also some of the uh, metal portion of it is a bit sharp as well so it kind of digs into your hands with the weight of the socket set but um, the Hazette set isn't without its fault either as I'll show you now Both cases come with this foam piece and obviously this foam is to protect the sockets from uh, falling out of positions and being scattered all over the case. But um, obviously what you just saw is they actually don't put any adhesive on the back of the uh, of the case to keep the foam in place. So obviously if you're working outdoors or somewhere it can just blow away and get lost. But um, even then the uh, Hazet foam is a bit more hard quality because as you can see it actually fits the case. So if I can close this and just open this constantly and I'm never going to have any problem. There's no gap or anything like to speak of. Whereas with the uh, Stowilla case, I can uh, show you that the uh, actual top portion of the case and the bottom of the portion kind of overlap. As you can see, but they actually made it to fit the top portion of the case. So naturally, the foam is obviously going to catch on the sides here. It's like that both sides as well. So I'm not going to close this. You can see that's never going to fully close properly. There's always going to be a gap between the, uh, the foam and the case. So obviously if I, if I was keeping this socket set, I would just trim the sides down, get some bits of uh, paste and paint it on the back of there and pull that uh, foam in place permanently. I don't know why they don't do that from the factory, but now never. So firstly, I want to show you the differences between the uh, the quality of the uh, Stowilla and the Hazette sockets. So as you can see right off the bat, that's 12 pointed, these are 6 pointed. Obviously with 12 pointed it's easier to put on a fitting, whereas you can transfer a lot more um, pressure and torque through these without having to round the nut off or damage the bolt in any way. Whereas um, these are, have a bit more range of movement and all that kind of stuff, whereas these are a bit more limited. But obviously 90% of the time 6 pointed are better because you can just transfer a lot more pressure through them without damaging any of the fixtures or anything you're working on. Um, the quality of the Hazets is superior to the uh, Stowilla. They're all completely uniform. I can pick any of these sockets up and they're basically going to have similar finishing, which is this mirror chrome finish with this matte finish. There's no marks or damage or chips of the chrome. They're all uniform right off the bat. You can see that they also have these chamfered edges as well. They are sit proud above the... Um, the metal so we have to grip them so basically a gripping zone so you can see the difference between this and this star willow one star willow one are a lot more flush and they basically provide no grip whatsoever with the uh, sockets that are basically useless um the only gripe with these sockets is that the actual number is a bit hard to find so you can see with this one this one's probably the one of the easier ones because the actual 900 and the 25 are separate whereas basically all the other for some reason all the other sockets basically have 900 dash and then the number of the uh, size of the socket so it's a little bit more hard, hard, uh, awkward to find the uh, proper number of the uh, socket if you're a bit uh, blind whereas with the Stowilla one you get the nice number on the side right in front of all the other names and numbers and sentences that you don't need to look at you just have the number right there which is perfect and likewise on the uh, much cheaper backhoe sets, you can see it's just stamped directly into the um, into the metal. 
you can see it's much more uh, uh, better done than the Hazette big 32 on the side of it whereas this is you know hidden in between the 900 and the made in Germany a bit more awkward to find but and it's obviously smaller as well it doesn't help quality of the uh, Stowella ones as I said before were significantly worse if I actually just put this into the sun hang on a second now you can see a bit easier you can see that the tops of them already have damage on them from the factory a bit chipped chrome bad finishing if I take this one out in particular you can just see the difference in the finishing on there. Much more poor quality. Even if I show the uh, the fat on, which has the same sort of finish on it, much more uh, chrome finish, but you can see there's no damage or chips. And this set it's about six year old set of used pretty much nearly every week, no damage whatsoever. Whereas these are obviously brand new from the factory and they're already coming pre marked, pre scratched, pre chipped, which isn't good. And actually some of the sockets actually have gouges as you can see there it actually has a gouge right there don't know if you can see it on the camera you can see it just there so obviously you put that on a chrome surface or a painted surface it's obviously going to dig into the chrome paint and marred surface which isn't good especially if you're working on a automotive or something like that where you need all your chrome fittings and everything like that all nicely uh, finished so it completes the car is a bit of a shame for some reason the um, the imperial sockets don't seem to have this issue I don't know why all the uh, chrome and fittings are actually decent on these ones there's no damage on the tops and some of them are is like um, this one here you can see there's a bit of chip off it this one here is a bit of scratched but other than that they seem to be a lot more higher quality than the actual metric ones which is a bit of a shame even on the uh, the smaller Stowell socket set that I own, you know, there's no damage or chips. This is how it should look like. No damage or chips on any of the chrome whatsoever. So they do have the uh, ability to make high quality sockets, but obviously, for some reason, with the uh, larger sockets, they, um, the quality is obviously a bit poor. As you can see, all these sockets and all these extensions and swivel joints have no damage to the surfaces of them at all. This is a bit strange, obviously, with the half inch, you do have that damage there, which is something to keep in mind. So as Tom talked about the ratchets, now, for me, I think the Starwilla ratchet is much more superior than the uh, Hazette uh, ratchet. It's much more uh, beefier, has a good bit of weight to it. it has two Phillips, has a nice metal um, uh, switch. And obviously you have your embossed or an L. So... L for loosen or for tight, obviously, because right tight, left loose. You have a nice Stawilla embossed directly into the metal. Nice uh, metal work all around, no chips, no damage at all. Nice polished chrome clip on the end of it. And obviously, the handle itself is like this kind of a rubbery, hard texture. So it's nice, kind of grip to it. It's a nice, chunky handle as well. The only problem with this is it does have a little bit of a slop in it you can hear so obviously when I put a socket onto the end of it there's a you know there's a bit of slop in it all right as you can hear as opposed to the uh, the Hazette so for me the Hazette loses it weighs a bit more the handle itself is hard plastic which I'm sure will be more durable than the uh, than the Stowilla one which is a plus for me because I actually prefer the uh, the handle on this. The numbers are embossed on the side here on the neck, but unfortunately for some reason they decided to make this out of cheap plastic, and it's definitely not as positive feeling as the uh, Stowilla. Even on cheaper ratchets like the uh, the Baco, it's actually made out of metal. There's a much more positive feeling, and on the uh, the Facom, that obviously has a completely different style altogether, which is this circle, swivel style, which obviously makes it a lot more easier to use when you have oily hands. But other than that, this part is black, whereas opposed to on the uh, Stowell, it's brushed chrome, just takes a bit more effort to make the brush chrome. Um, I believe the, the Hazette is actually a bit longer as well. 
just a small bit longer if you put that stowel into the actual case you can see it's just a small bit longer the, uh, the hazard overall which I'm sure will make loads of difference Um, other than that you can see it's cheaper cheaper backhoe way more lighter and um, you actually have this ball joint pusher which actually makes it so much easier I don't know why companies don't do this off the bat I mean I can just do this with one hand absolutely no problem whatsoever whatsoever put it in no swivel no there's not much slap on this either you can just push it to get it out simple I don't know why companies don't do this but never never and I also forgot to show you the uh, the slap in the Azette how it compares just basically none as you can hear it's very solid and obviously the ratcheted portion itself very positive feeling. Likewise on the uh, likewise on the Star Willow. Very positive. I can't say which has more uh, teeth. I think the uh, uh, Star Willow has a bit more teeth in it. I'm not sure what the numbers are, but to me they both feel exactly the same. There's no no real difference, no real world difference. Obviously the fat on this is obviously smaller uh, uh, three eighths ratchet, so this is obviously going to have a bit more teeth in it but basically all the fat on half inch stuff looks exactly the same they have this type of profile this hard plastic the uh the circle styles uh uh switcher at the top um you know i quite like this these ratchets you know they're small they're light they do the job i've had a uh, half inch in the past and they haven't let me down whatsoever and uh they do put quite a number of teeth into these ratchets so they're a lot easier to to move as opposed to these ones these are a lot more heavier duty and likewise with the uh, the backhoe the backhoe has more teeth you can hear right off the bat and the backhoe itself is just it's never let me down very solid very nice feel to it um but for me i think the style will have wins it just because how girty it is now a uh, thick neck is i can just easily uh, pop off axle nuts with this no problem I just have way more confidence in this ratchet than all the other ratchets. And I don't think the uh, the changer on the top is ever going to break either. And obviously you have two Phillips as well, so it's easier to get into. Whereas on these other ratchets, you have Torx here, obviously. Um, I think most people have Torx these days, but just in case you mightn't have Torx, this one has Torx as well. If you ever need to open them up, oil them, change the part that breaks. This one's just held in by a circlip. Um, and that's that so extension wise you have one joint long extension you have a medium size extension and you have a long uh, short size extension with the azette you only get two sizes you get um, long and you obviously get short which is uh, the medium size for the stowilla and um, stowilla ones are a bit longer stowilla ones obviously have different finishes on this hazette has this kind of polished chrome the insides of them are nicely finished whereas the uh, style willow ones have the soft um you know obviously the soft texture the rest of the sockets but on the inside you can already see the damage on it but the inside is a lot more uh, rougher coarser kind of finish on the inside it's less quality gone into it and with the longer ones the same story again you have a nice finish on the inside nice polished chrome and uh, no damage the same kind of um Kind of matte chrome finishes the rest of the sockets have same ball end same on the ball end side it's nicely finished no chips no damage or anything as to be expected and the star willow one has the same kind of finish as the other one coarser in on the inside damaged on top of the surface but the one thing i will say is that they are a little bit longer if i actually just put the hazette one in there you can see they're just a touch longer the Star Willow ones. Um, the Hazette set doesn't actually come with the uh, the smaller one as I said. But it's the same type of story again. This one actually seems to be finished properly this time. The inside is nice and smooth. But the outside is uh, still a bit marked and a bit chipped. Other than that it's fine. The um, sliding uh, handles I think are better on the uh, Star Willow again. The handle uh, itself seems to be a bit more chunky. 
the uh, top portion is, is chunkier as well and the fact that they have the um, the name and logo and everything embossed onto the actual fitting whereas for some reason Hazette decided to um, put it on the actual uh, sliding portion of the handle itself so obviously when you push it down it obviously catches I don't want to make it do that now but it actually kind of catches the surface a little bit you can hear it it's a bit of a shame so it just makes it a little bit less smooth there I got it now you can see that's kind of stuck it kind of gets stuck on it as opposed to the rest of it which is nice and smooth Whereas uh, the style one is smooth all the way through, no chance of it getting stuck anywhere or getting kind of uh, caught onto uh, the letters that are on the uh, Hazette, which is a bit of a shame. Also, it's longer again, just by a tiny, tiny little fraction again, it's about that much, not much in the difference at all. And um, that's about it really. The Azette also comes with a few extras as well. You have this flat head, which is perfect for getting um, brake uh, master cylinders open and changing the brake fluid and all that kind of stuff. So it's just nice to have in the case. And you also have this uh, breaker bar as well. Um, it's not terribly long. I actually have a FACOM one. I think the FACOM is just a little bit longer as well. Um, quality difference, obviously the Hazette is much more... Uh, much more fatter, whereas this is a bit skinnier. I actually prefer the uh, hard plastic as opposed to this kind of diamond shaped metal handle that the uh, FACOM gives you. And obviously they just laser print it on there, whereas this is actually forged directly into the, uh, the steel itself. The actual swivel point though on the uh, FACOM is a lot more, uh, a lot more easier to work with. It doesn't actually, you know, there's no, it's nice and smooth the finish. So obviously it's going to be smooth itself, whereas this is coarse finish. So obviously this is going to be more stickier. And obviously, so you'd have to probably loosen this a little bit to make it go a bit more freer. But it's just something to do, I suppose. So a little extra as that gives you, whereas the uh, Stowilla just comes with um, obviously imperial size sockets, which uh, I have some old British motor motorbikes, so. They would come in handy for me, so what I'm going to do is probably offload this set, keep the Hazette set, and probably just buy an Imperial, a cheaper Imperial set, because I'd probably be using this probably half the amount of time that I would be using the, uh, the metric sockets. Um, all in all, uh, the Hazette is obviously a lot better quality for me. The only part of the uh, uh, Stowell it wins is obviously the sockets are a lot easier to read the numbers on the sides. You know, whereas the Hazette are kind of buried in the middle and they're a lot uh, smaller and not uh, more pronounced. Uh, the style will uh, ratchet as well. For me, it just feels a little bit nicer, feels more quality, especially the uh, swivel to change the direction. And the whole fit finish of it is just nicer to handle as well. There's a bit more uh, kind of a rubbery texture as opposed to the hard plastic that's found on the uh, Hazette. Um, obviously, the Hazette. The sockets are a lot better quality as opposed to even the Baco and the Facom because you have the extra gripping zones and as well you have the six pointed whereas these are 12 pointed so obviously these are a bit more heavy duty so they're easier to take off car nuts and everything without worrying about um, stripping the uh, nut and marring the surface whereas these are a bit easier to do of course Um, you don't get the uh, the shorter extension with the uh, Hazette but yeah, I don't think I'd ever use that anyways I'd probably just use the uh, the mid-size one that comes with the uh, Hazette. Um, just what annoys me is the quality control, especially due to the fact that the uh, quarter inch set that I have, just the quality, I'll just show you real quick of what it could look like. You even get this tiny little breaker bar, which is hilarious. But there's no damage to any of the surfaces, no damage to any of the sockets whatsoever. These are all perfectly uniform. And it's just a shame, really, because these are a lovely finish. I'd actually love to have the Stowell set that would be uh, in perfect condition, but unfortunately it didn't come like that. And as well, the foam is actually stuck onto the back of the case. And as well, you have all these lasers into the, uh, cut into the foam, so it's a lot easier to see everything 
you can see all your numbers and you can see all your extensions and everything this is really good whereas uh both these sets don't have any of that they're not stuck in at all which is a shame um another thing as well with the stowella set is that even cheaper brands like the Facon brand that i have and i've been using for quite a while none of them sockets are damaged or anything like that and i've been using them for these this sets about four years old and they've lasted me you know all that time constant use all the extensions the tops of them probably nice finished nice and smooth finish on the inside as opposed to the yeah um, stowella which is a bit a bit on the rough side and obviously all the uh, sockets in this one you can see the way they're all uniform, there's no damages or scratches or anything, that's usually there's just a little bit of a dust on them at the moment. But there's no damage on them or anything like that, for some reason on the uh, the stowella there is. So you can see that um, it's not due to the weight of the socket, it's just due to how they're made, because you know these are probably the exact same weight and, and uh, so the has it. So there's no chance I'm behind their story that they, um, that they weigh more and they hit of each other during production that's why they're kind of chipped which to me doesn't doesn't sound right um any comments or questions please give me a, a shout in the comments here's both the model numbers 50ma slash 39 slash 6n 39 pieces then you have the uh, hazette 900 or excuse me hazette 905 Comes with the metal case and a few extra, um, the breaker bar and all that kind of stuff as opposed to the 900. And then that's a SO3, uh, excuse me, S103 socket set from Baco. And I'm not quite sure what the uh, 3.8 is, it's just a generic 3.8 from Facom. You can get these basically in many different configurations. So they come with way more sockets, they come with uh, way more extensions, swivel joints, and all that kind of stuff. But the more expensive you go, obviously. But I think these are both made in, I think this is Taiwan, I think this is Taiwan as well. Or as both these are German. So you can see that the, uh, there actually isn't too much of a difference between super expensive and super cheap. I think this was only 120 euro for all these sockets and you get um, deep sockets as well with them. I'll just show you them real quick. You get deep sockets as well for your spark plugs. And you got all these heavy duty sockets, 34. Obviously, it doesn't do for the full range of metric. You have shorter ones there for your quarter inch as well. And all the accessories you could ever want. A bit shorter on the um on the breaker bar though. But then um, the set has lasted me quite a while. I have no problems with these sets whatsoever. The back of sets, the back of quality for me is right up there with the best. And obviously you have uh Spanners as well, and Allen key set does all the basic kind of sizes. So for me, I'll probably be getting a set of uh, more uh, a set of Baco uh, long sockets for spark plugs and different pieces, bits and pieces, torque sets and hex sets for me half inches, because uh, you know these brands are very very expensive when it comes to. Their accessories and different bits and pieces you can buy. You know, you have to pay big, big, big money for both Hazette and Stowell. Whereas the Baco sets are, are well priced for what they are. I mean, to me, these sockets are perfectly usable. They're perfectly fine. There's no damage. There's no chips on them out of the box. They're nice, strong. No problems with these whatsoever. Nice, thick base on them. Um, with the Facom ones, it's the exact same story. These are, I don't know if they're as cheap as the Baco ones, but... You can definitely see that these are completely adequate as opposed to obviously the fin finish isn't going to be good as the Hazette or even the Stowell if they were if the Stowell ones were nice out of the box but they do their job quite adequately.